Resizable bar is one of those features that sounds great on paper, but does it actually do anything in the game like Tarkov? I ran tests with it, both enabled and disabled to see if it's worth turning on, and the results weren't really what I was expecting. If you're curious whether resizable bar makes a real difference in Tarkov, let's take a look together. Resizable bar or rebar as a lot of people call it is a PCIe feature that lets your CPU access a larger portion of your GPU's VRAM all at once instead of it being limited to the default 256 megabyte chunks. In theory this should improve efficiency in games where the CPU and GPU are constantly trading data like open world or memory heavy titles but the actual benefits can vary a lot from game to game. I've tested rebar in the past and didn't see much difference turning it on or off but after watching Jay's two cents recent video, I learned that even if you enable it in BIOS, it might not actually be enabled for every individual game. So using NVIDIA Profile Inspector, you can check whether it's active on a per game basis. And it turns out that Tarkov doesn't actually use rebar by default, even if it's enabled in BIOS. So I manually forced it on for Tarkov and ran some tests to see what difference it really makes. For this test, I was running my Ryzen 7 9800X 3D tuned with the plus 200 megahertz boost clock override and a minus 40 undervolt to get the most out of the chip. It's paired with 64 gigabytes of DDR5 at 6000 sealed 30 with tightened secondary and tertiary timings. If you want all the tuning details on the system, check out the link in the upper right hand corner. Storage is handled by a Gen 5 Aorus 10K M2 and everything is running on a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Extreme motherboard. The 5070Ti is an MSI Shadow 3X overclock model. As for the game settings, I use my Pure 80 optimized preset, which is my high texture preset for the best visual to FPS ratio. If you want to see a full breakdown on those settings, check out the video in the upper right hand corner. I ran each test three times in 4K resolution on high settings to ensure the GPU was the bottleneck here. First offline to get baseline numbers without server and network variables, and then online in live rates. I then took those averages and compared those numbers. With resizable bar enabled on streets offline in 4K high, the numbers were actually a little bit lower compared to having it off. Now, Tarkov has a lot of RNG and even though offline mode cuts out many variables, some randomness still remains. So to me, those differences are well within the margin of error and this test is basically a wash. In live raids on streets, the average FPS and 1% lows were again marginally lower with rebar on. The only noticeable change was that the 0.1% lows were about 5% higher when enabled. Personally though, gameplay felt exactly the same either way. Going into online raids adds even more RNG into the mix. So from a real world perspective, I'd say it's still a wash. I didn't notice any meaningful difference in smoothness or responsiveness and the numbers kind of show that as well. So if you're trying to optimize your system for Tarkov, should you enable resizable bar? While it sounds like it could help performance in theory, I didn't notice any meaningful difference with it on versus off in my testing. So my recommendation, it's fine to leave rebar enabled in your BIOS since it can benefit other games or applications and you can manually toggle it on or off per game using the NVIDIA profile inspector. But specifically for Tarkov, I personally don't think it's a critical setting to worry about when optimizing your system. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or join my Discord. We have over 1,400 knowledgeable and friendly members now, and I'd love for you to be a part of the community. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.